Similar to the previous lesson, for which I'm going to put a link in the description, and where we have transformed some ugly looking data into a chart like this, and a chart that is interactive, so if I click, it will automatically update. We're going to transform this ugly looking data into something like this that is also interactive. So if I change the number, for example, you can see that it will update automatically. So let's start. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to select this and move it down. I'm going to put it here. And then I'm going to add a total here, put 100%. And we're going to use this later then we go to view we remove the grid lines so the page can breathe a little bit the first step is to insert a chart so we select our data we do insert and then we select a bar chart a normal bar chart this one then we're gonna remove some of the elements of the bar chart so i'm gonna click on this press delete on my keyboard same thing for the title i don't want it I press delete. Then what we want is that this mail has to be on top of this total and it has to fill the whole area. But before doing this, we're just going to do right click here, do select data and do switch row and columns. So first they become like this, then we can click on them. If you didn't click on them right, you can go here and select them. If, for example, this was not there, you can just click here and then right click format data series. And then you have your data series and you can go here under those three bars and do series overlap 100%. So as you can see, it's one on top of the other and then gap width 0%. So it takes the whole area. Then we close this. If you look at this, I have my 100% here but my total is on top of the mail and I want the opposite. So I'm going to click here inside, right click, select data. I click on my mail, I click on this arrow and then the mail goes down. So it's in front of the total. And as you can see, I have this. The next problem I have is my axis. It goes to 120%. I don't want this. So I click on it, right click, format axis. Here I have zero. I'm going to type in zero and put enter. And as you can see, you're going to get a reset button here, which means that you have put this manually. Here we put one, enter, and we have everything okay for the axis. So now we can get rid of some of the things. So we click on the axis. We can get rid of it with delete. Employees, we click, we get rid of it with delete. We make this a smaller. We have here a border, so we can click on the outside. Again, you can do format chart area. If you see here, you have border, so you do no line, so the border is gone. Then we need to convert this to a nice shape like this one. You see how it's rounded and all. So for this, we need to insert some shapes. So we go to insert, illustration, shapes, and here you have a shape with rounded edges. So we put one here, we color it the way we like. So I'm going to click on shape fill and color it. I'm going to make another one for this. So control C, control V. Then we color it, for example, in gray. And I don't want any border. So for borders, you have shape outline. So we'll do the same for both. So we don't have problems. Next, we need to copy paste those shapes here. So we click here, we do Ctrl C, then we click here two times, just to make sure that you selected the right one, then you do Ctrl V. This is the first one, we're gonna repeat this for the next one. Ctrl C, we click here, we make sure we selected it, Ctrl V. The next thing we need to do is having this nice icon and having the percentage here. We're going to start with the percentage because it's the easiest. So for percentage, you click on your graph, you click on the plus and you do data label. The data label is here. So what we do with it, we click on it. We want it inside. Here, if you can see, you have inside base. So it's here. Then under home, you have a white font. You can click here to make it bigger. 
So for example, I'm going to make it as big as this. And then I'm going to change the font. I'm going to use Aharoni. So here we have our 67%. The trick for the icon is one, to get the icon. And two, we can use a dot and replace it with an icon. So what is the dot? Usually it's a scattered plot. So let's add here equal, let's say 67%. Let's move the chart a little bit. Call it icon. And then let's add another series. So we click on it, right click, select data, add, series name is icon, and then series value is this 67%. We say OK. If you see, my new series is here on top of this blue. So I need to transform it to a scattered plot. So I can click, right click, I can do change series chart type. And here we have in this combo, we have the types. So if I change this to scattered, you can see that directly it will plot this here on a secondary axis. So I say, okay. And I have it on a secondary axis, this dot. Now, what I want is that this dot should come here, right? So to make it come here, I need to do a small modification. First of all, the axis. The same way I fix the other axis, I need to manually fix this one. So I'm going to do 0 and 1. Same methodology. You get this reset button, you are fine. The next thing I want to do is change the X and the Y of this. So I can click, select data. I have my icon. I can do edit. Series name is the same. The X value is actually my 67%. So I click on it, I select my 67%. My Y value is actually 50% because I want it in the middle, right? So I can click and type 50% manually, so 0 0.5. Enter. As you can see, the dot is here. Since the dot is here, I don't need this anymore. We remove it. We click on it, press delete on the keyboard, it's gone. Then I need my icons. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to go to insert illustrations icon and under icons I have so many options so I can do man and here I have a man so I can insert it and then I'll do the same to get a woman icon woman so I'm going to select this one and I'm going to do insert so here we have two we click on one of them, then we press control, we keep control pressed, we click on the second one, and we make both of them smaller. So if we see this, now it will fit in my chart. Then I need to color them, so I can select this one and say graphic format, graphic fill, you can select this color, same for the other one, we select this color. Now the trick is to put it inside, this is very simple, we just select it, then we do Ctrl C, we select this dot, we make sure we selected the dot, Ctrl V, and it's inside. But it's too much here on the right side. I need to move it a little bit inside. So I can use a formula. Let's say I reduce it by 5%, and this depends on how big is your graph. So you can try it. As you can see, it's here. The only problem is that if this is zero, then I have an issue, right? So in order to fix this issue, I can do max of zero and then this formula. So now if you have zero, you can see that the icon is still visible in the chart. And this is how you do this chart. Very easy, simple, once you get the hang of it. We're gonna do the same for the female chart. So for the female chart, let's just copy this and then copy this and write total then we just move those icons here we need to copy our chart so we do this it's copied then we can do ctrl c for this put it here ctrl v now it's a female we need to change the data set so we can click on the first one and then we move this here 
enter then we need to copy this data set so same technique if you noticed I lost my shapes here so I can just copy paste them again Control C Control V same here Control C Control V so those are my shapes then I need to put the label so we click here data label it's here again we go to this we can put it inside base for the format of the label you just select this one under home you have the format painter you click here this format is back and the last problem I have is the icon is at 67% and I don't want it here so I can go right click select data we click on icon we do edit so my X series is not correct it's here and here you go next you can delete this you don't need them you can adjust your chart so you select it you move it here you can make here a title so we do borders here we click on this one to do merge people infographic I can color it so I can come here use this color for example then we can do this make it breathe a little bit by inserting a column and then the last step is to just select this page break preview once you do this you can move this a little bit then you make it bigger and we can even add here a row and there you go this is your people infographic chart so if you change anything here for example 52 percent you can see that everything will adjust automatically if you like this lesson stay tuned in the next lesson we're going to do another cool trick with infographics.